I like stuff to at least start out clean. I mean, it doesn't have to stay clean the whole time. Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I feel like I was just here. So, we're gonna get these weed inserts out of here. Uh, I think I tried to pop them out yesterday, but I forgot. I think I have to have the concave all the way up. And I'm not sure if I can do that without starting the combine. So, I'm gonna check the oil real quick first while I'm here. And then we're gonna deal with that. So, don't know if I can do the concaves. Shoot, forgot the iPad again. Dang it, I'm gonna have to go get that. See if I can change the concaves without starting the machine. Sweet, I can hear it moving. I don't know how low it'll go. Nine, eight, that sounds like it. All right, all right, let's get this out of the way. Okay, so there, that's better. Hmm. How did I do, how did I get those in there? Did they go in from the other way? No, surely not. What's, this one? What's that one doing? I don't know. Okay, so I, in fact, did not have the concave all the way up. Well. That's better. Now I'll put these clips back in. Keep those from getting damaged. And we should be good. I think that's okay. Maybe I should take those off. I don't trust it. I don't want to lose these or these. I'm going to take those off. Oh, darn it. So the only extension we have here in the shop is this one that's 14 feet long. So I guess that'll work. And then, uh, and then I guess I need a new battery. All right, I'll be right back. All right, take two. I guess I don't have another battery, so we're just gonna do this the old fashioned way. Now I need to put some fuel in the combine, but we got the truck parked in front of the fuel barrel, but it needs to be started to go to town anyway, so fire that up, let it build up some air pressure, move some stuff around and get some fuel. And I guess I'll have to run back home and get the iPad. It's always something. I guess while I got the combine in here, I could vacuum out the cab. That's one thing I didn't get done. And it was kind of bothering me yesterday. I like stuff to at least start out clean. I mean, it doesn't have to stay clean the whole time. I mean, it's not gonna, but. It's nice to clean it out once in a while. All right, much cleaner in here. Let's go get some fuel. Well, I went home and got the iPad. Dad's just taking off, he's gonna take that load in. I think what I'm gonna do is just go pick a little bit more and fill the grain cart because we got just basically one combine dump in there so we might as well take a full load. And then I think we're gonna move. So we're gonna move to a smaller field that's some earlier maturity. It was planted pretty early, it should be drier. We like to save these big fields with long rows. I guess I never told you, this field is like 86 acres, half mile rows. We like to save those for when we have extra help to run the grain cart because I can't make a round with the combine. So. Usually during the week when it's just me and dad, we'll try to work on the small fields. And then sometimes on the weekends, we get some extra help, so. 
that's what we're gonna do. Oh, gotta adjust my concave before I forget. I think I need to go to like 27. I'll double check that. Um, concave clearance, 25 to 35. I think I was on 27. Yeah. All right. That should be good to go. Parking brake. Let's roll. Separator. Engaged. Header. Engaged. High idle. And we're off. Chopper is in high speed range. What? Well, it wasn't in high speed range yesterday. Well, that makes absolutely zero sense. So this combine knows what head is attached. So obviously we have the corn head on, so it knows what setting we, settings we should have. And it's saying choppers in high speed. And the only way to change the speed is to change the belt. And I don't think any of us changed the belt. So why was it in low speed yesterday and high speed today? I guess I'll just get out and look. Anyways, so the combine kind of knows what settings should be in there. Yesterday when I started, the rotor was still in high speed, and it alerted me that I needed to put the rotor in low speed. But it didn't alert me yesterday that my chopper was in high speed, but it did today, so that's weird. Anyways, we should be ready to go now. Harvest day two, take two. Chopper, engage. I mean, separator, engage. Header, high idle. out of the back but it wouldn't surprise me if I was losing that much out of the back because it just there was a lot of chopped up ground up corn on the chopper pan back there so we were spitting a lot out the back anyways yeah going good really already Weston I like stuff to at least start out clean I would like to say this is not my fault but it was my fault I guess my buzzer needs to be adjusted. As soon as it went off, corn started going over the cab. And I made a gigantic mess. We got that out of the way. Now we won't have to do that anymore. So I was gonna bring the corn to the grain cart, but since it's pouring over like a waterfall, I'm gonna bring the grain cart to the combine. So I probably should grab a shovel and shovel some of that corn off the roof because there's a lot up there and I look like an idiot driving around with a bunch of corn on my roof. All right, we got moved over to this other field and I'm still losing some corn out the back. I'm trying to get this thing set. It's always fun once we first start, which this one actually feels, well, it's a little rubbery. But those are always hard to shell because it just kind of grinds up the cob and then you don't get all the kernels off. So you can see I'm losing a lot of corn out the back here. So I've got my sieves opened up quite a bit. Um, I might need to open up my concave a little bit. I actually did a powered shutdown. So what that means is you just, right as you're picking, you shut the machine off, and then you can go back and look inside your separator or your cleaning area and kind of see what it looks like in there. And then you can adjust accordingly. that but there's a lot of ears 
coming out the back that have a lot of corn on them yet. So, what do we got going on? I'm gonna have to figure this out. All right, so I think I need to be running the rotor faster. So we are running it at 300, and it says to run 300 to 400 wet, 250 to 400 dry. So we're just gonna crank it up. Oops, we're gonna crank it up to 400. See what that gets us. Uh, concaves, we're still on 25. 25 to 35, okay. Let's see what we got here. Change some settings, did another power shut down. We're gonna see what we got. First, I'll look over here. Man, we are still losing a lot of corn out the back. What is going on? Oh boy. Still having a hard time getting it off the cob. I might make some phone calls and uh, see if I can get any tips. It's really hard to get off the cob. So I made some phone calls, uh, called a neighbor. I can't remember if I said this already. I called a neighbor who has this hybrid. He said it's really tough to get that off the cob. And uh, he gave me some pointers, still wasn't working. I called our combine mechanic. He said to just keep tightening up the concaves and speeding up the rotor. So. I'm tightened down way tighter than I should be. And it's actually so tight that it's really working the combine. So it's doing better, but not great. I think it's just it's going to be what it's going to be on this hybrid. Certain hybrids that have a soft cob, it just, instead of getting the grain off the cob, it just grinds up the cob. And then it spits it out the back through the chopper. And there's not a whole lot you can do about it. So you just kind of got to take your time and try and do the best of the worst that you can, if that makes sense. Anyways, other than that, it's going good. Knocked out that 20 acres pretty easily. So uh, I think what we're gonna do, a little bit of change of plans. We were gonna do another 40 over here, but this corn is a little bit wetter than we'd like to see. So we're gonna wait on that. They're calling for rain tonight. Pretty good chance of rain, and we wanna get this combine put back in the shed so it doesn't get rained on. So. They we're gonna move back to Grandpa's since we got that opened up and just finish out the day. It's already two o'clock, so uh, I think the elevator's up until five probably. So we'll finish out the day there and see what happens with this rain. I've been having all kinds of trouble with this SD card in my GoPro, so if all this footage makes it, it'll be a miracle. Anyways, so one thing that I gotta get used to with this corn head is the deck plate controls are opposite for some reason, I think pretty sure they're opposite. So like, you push this button right here, you push it left or right to open or close them, and it's opposite from the old head. So you gotta get used to that. And there's no indicator on the head, the indicator's on the screen. So that's another thing to get used to. Technology, it is what it is. Hopper full, and we're just topping off the grain cart. So we got some uh, load. I think those pins showed up at your house. I bought that. There's a box from the small with the two back doors, so I brought it with me. That was fast. So I ordered some pins for these stock stompers. That way we don't have to worry about using bolts anymore. And I ordered them yesterday. And oh, you ordered them yesterday afternoon? Yeah. Probably about 3 30. Yeah, I ordered them yesterday at like 3.30 and they showed up today, so. This lawn's based out of Illinois though, aren't they? Yeah, I think the experience comes out of Sullivan. But anyways, we're topping off the green cart and we got the hot air. Well, come on around there. I'll be right back. So anyways. We got the hopper full. We're filling up the grain cart. That way we have some corn on wheels loaded up for tomorrow in case it rains. That way we can at least get something done. So, we're just gonna top this off. 
probably about another round and uh, call it a day. We're still having trouble losing grain out the back. We, I don't know what's going on, but this corn seems to be shelling a lot easier than that last corn we were in, but we're still losing some. And I can't get my cleaning pan to go up any higher. I don't think that's the problem, but I don't know. If it rains, we're gonna do some investigating, see if we can figure something out. All right, day two of harvest is complete. We had a pretty productive day. We got a little over 50 acres done. Not a bad day, had some moving around to do, so did pretty good. So far, the yields are, I'm pleasantly surprised. I was actually expecting them to be a little lower than where they're at, so that's always a good thing. Moisture is decent. It's a little bit higher than we'd like to see, but we're trying to get some of this corn before it starts going down. I know we got some uh, stalk strength issues just because of the weather. And there's some neighbors that got some corn going down pretty bad too. So we're trying to get it while it's gettable. So thanks for watching. A lot of harvest videos coming at you. So stay tuned for that. See you on the next one. Got done just in time. Just started raining.